Hi, my name is Morty Hodge. I'm the CEO of Nashville Compressor and Charlotte Compressor. Today I'm with uh, Steve Holman, who is the Assistant Service Manager here at Atlanta Compressor and also helps run Detroit Compressor. So we wanted to create this video for our customers so that we can help you guys avoid the cost of a service call for some very basic things. Uh, one of the main calls we get as the temperature starts to heat up is water in the airlines. So this, this video is specifically to address water in the airlines. What are four or five things you can do as a customer on your refrigerated air dryer uh, to possibly fix yourself so that you don't have to call us out there and spend money on some very simple things. So this is a Micropore dryer. Uh, I believe the model is a, what is it, Steve? It's a MKUS 250. So it's a 250 CFM uh, refrigerated dryer. And Steve, you want to go ahead and tell us uh, some things as a service tech in the field, uh, many, many years, what are some things that you saw that customers uh, could do that check themselves? All right, yeah, no problem, Morty, thank you. So uh, right out the door, uh, ensure that the dryer's on. Just because you have power doesn't um, and the lights are on doesn't mean that it's running. So this model, you would just press the power button, hold for four seconds, and then it'll give you a numerical value on the display here. Uh, it gives you an indication that the dryer is running. Yeah, as simple as that sounds, so many calls we get, the technician shows up, it's a 30 minute or 30 second fix. We walk over there and the dryer's off. And then the customer asks us to write something else in the paperwork so, <laughs> so they don't get in trouble with their boss. So yeah, as simple as it sounds, make sure that the dryer is on. Uh, what's what's the next thing that's also very simple, Steve? Uh, so the next thing, uh, all dryers will have this, uh, with this bike, with this bicycle processor, have the manual drain test button. So there again, it's the up arrow button. You just wanna press and hold four seconds. That will uh, allow the drain to cycle open. You should hear the air spray at that point. Um, and then once you release the dryer, drain will go back closed. Yeah, so check the drain, right? That's the whole concept of a dryer is to uh, take the moisture out of the air and then send it out a drain. And there's multiple different ways on different dryers you're gonna check the drain, right? Some of them you can, has a test button on top of the drain itself. Uh, other ones you can take apart and check uh, or just watch it and make sure that it's draining moisture out uh, on a regular basis. Uh, so that's the second easiest thing. Then the third thing that you wanna check is, uh, is the bypass. We don't have a bypass set up on this dryer, but a lot of times the air uh, goes into the dryer here comes out of the dryer here and there's going to be a bypass for this uh this dryer a lot of times that bypass will be left open left open and allowing air to bypass this dryer go straight from the compressor to to your facility uh so you want to make sure that ball valve's closed forcing the air to go into the dryer and out of the dryer and let it let it do its job Steve, what's uh, what's the next thing that the customers can check before uh, before they call us? So uh, the next thing I would highly recommend, and this would be part of your routine maintenance inspections, is ensuring that this condenser is clean. Um, a lot of times you'll see a film mat of dust, dirt build up on the exterior of it, um, and that's just something as simple as it never could be could be blown out, light with a little bit of air or you could actually shut it down and they offer some uh, cleaners that we can recommend if you need. Yeah, so some compressed air. Uh, usually in here, you'll see the fan is connected to the condenser and that's where the heat transfer is taking place. So we're, we're uh, and there's a lot more science behind it. I'm simplifying it, of course, but understand that if there's a, a carpet of dust and debris on that condenser, it's not gonna be transferring heat and allowing the refrigeration to do its job uh, which is ultimately take the moisture out of the air. And then finally, Steve, what's the last thing you'd recommend that a customer could possibly do? This is a little bit more advanced, uh, but you know it's probably the fifth thing that a customer could check on their own uh, to make sure that the dryer is working properly. So if the dryer is running, Morty, after we've done all the other checks, what I would recommend is this is your suction line coming off the evaporator. This is gonna be one of the coldest points in the dryer. So uh, with it being insulated, it should be cold. So you can just kind of pull back the insulation very gently uh, and just lightly stick your finger in there and it'll feel uh, like you're touching an ice cube with the tip of your finger. Um, and that's an indication that we are getting cold refrigerant coming back out, uh, which allows us to know that the dryer is working. If it's not cold to the touch, then I would recommend giving us a call. Yeah, and be careful doing this, right? You might wanna give us a call to do more advanced things like this, or at least help you over the phone. These smaller copper lines, a lot of these can be extremely hot and burn you, so don't touch those. You're gonna be looking for ones that are usually covered with a foam, even though this hotline is also covered with a foam, but, uh, and it's gonna be at the bigger lines, 
uh, in here. I think this is probably going to be a half inch line. Uh, and you just want to touch it to make sure that it's cool to the touch. So uh, those are some basic things that any customer can do uh, before they spend money on giving us a call out there to come fix it. And uh, hopefully this gave you some value and you guys can use it to uh, save some money. Thank you and have a great day.